Oh, hey, Wayne. How are you? What up to Lady? Yeah? That's good, man. Uh, by the way, can you do me a favor? Yeah, uh, by any chance, can I borrow your Sony 24 G Master? Huh. No, no. Yeah, I understand. Sure. Yeah. Bye. Hello, uh, this is Ken. Yeah, that's Ken. It's been a while, man. You still in the industry? Hello, my name is Ken Sayakatsu, and I like to borrow Sony 24 G Master. Oh, hey, Joe. Look, I need something. Yeah, it's Sony 24 G Master. What? You sold it? To who? Can you give me Sony 24 G Master right now? It's 24 G Master. Just take yourself, all right? Oh, man, that pizza guy. No, 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 no. that's all right. I understand. Sure, talk to you later, okay? Bye-bye. Have a good day. Hey John, it's me, Ken. By any chance, do you have extra Sony 24 G Master? Hey, what's up, bro? Dennis, the best filmmaker in the West. You got 24 G Master. Okay, talk to you later. All right. Hello, my name is Ken Sakatsu. Is this Mr. Ryan Doze? Goodbye. Have a good day. Hey Summer, it's me, Ken. How are you? How is your little Casey? So, is 24G Master in stock right now, next week? No, I don't understand. Yeah. All right. So, what kind of camera do you use? Canon. It's not sunny. Oh, that's good. No, nothing. Just, you know, I wanted to know. Yeah, Canon is a good camera. R5. That's great, man. Yo, can you believe this? No one has 24 GM. What the hell is this? I don't know, maybe the pandemic of Sony e -mount. Hey Tim, it's me, Ken. If you have Sony 24, I'm looking for Sony 24G. Sony 24 Master. Hello, I like to order pizza. It's one large pepperoni. So I'm waiting for my pizza like a... Oh, you have? Wow, that's great. Sure. I'll miss you in an hour. Yeah, that's good. Thanks. See you later. Gears episode 15, Sony 24 G Master. So, how was the intro? Well, I haven't edited yet at this point, but I think it's gonna be great. Well, I hope you guys enjoy. Okay, let's start today's gears. How's it going people? Welcome back to another new episode of The Gears. And thank you for tuning in again. So, a lot of people are saying a lot of nice things about this lens. What lens? Yeah, today I'm gonna talk about this Sony 24mm f1.4 G Master. Okay, from now, I'm going to focus on three major points. First, the look, how it looks and how I feel about it. Second is autofocus, how fast is this? Third is image quality, how good is this? How sharp is this? Okay, first, the look. So when it comes to Sony G Master, I come up with words like a massive and super heavy. Oh, this? Totally different from those. So first, this lens weighs 445 grams. So it's a little bit heavier than Sony 20mm f1.8 G lens, but it's still light and portable. And about the size, it's quite close to the Sony 20mm G lens again, but it's a little bit bigger than that. And this has my favorite thing, which is aperture ring. Well, I've been seeing a lot of nice things about this, but I just realized that this aperture ring is a little bit loose. So when I was filming, this aperture ring moved by itself while I was not aware of it. So exposure changed before I knew, like, uh, oh, this is f3.5, I wanted f2.8. So as my feedback of using this, it'd be awesome if this has some kind of aperture aperture ring lock and other thing is normal it has aperture ring click on and off af mf control switch and focus hold and the most surprising thing about this lens is a price the average price range of sony g master is 20 hundred dollars i guess but this is around 1400 dollars on the market right now maybe you can find it more cheaper if it's used but what we want to know is is this worth spending 1400 bucks i'll tell later but just remember this is under 1.5k Next. 
So next is autofocus. As always, I did autofocus speed test that was 1.1 second average. Well, it's normal fast. It's just normal. It's not faster than I expected. And sometimes it gets super slow. I don't know, maybe I did something wrong about the camera setting. But you know, I'm just telling you the fact which is this sometimes gets super slow. And also when I was filming, ah, you know, the construction is going on outside. It's very noisy now is in you know, 4.30 almost. So I hope it ends soon. And also when I was filming, the autofocus was getting lost a little bit like a back and forth, back and forth. So my honest feeling about this autofocus is not that good. You know, autofocus setting was as usual, continuous AF and the focus area is center, speed, normal, track sensitivity is standard. And exposure was right, but as I used, it generated this result. I honestly don't know why this happened. So if you know anything about this, leave some tips below. Next. So last thing is image quality. So 24mm is wide angle. And a good thing about this wide angle is you can frame a lot of things. So for example, when you shoot in the city, there are so many tall buildings and many informations. This 24mm lets you capture a lot of them. And this 24mm is also good at digital shot, like a almost half macro shot. The minimum focus distance is 24 centimeters. Wait, focal length is 24mm. So 24mm and 24 centimeters. Nice. But when you zoom in, the surface of image is curved. Of course, this is wide angle lens, so this curving problem also follows. But I'm not used to using this kind of wide angle and this, you know, curving problems. So I just felt like, uh, okay, this is not good. It's not looking good. I look like a creature living in a space jungle. So you have to pay attention on this curving problem when you use wide angle lens. But when you shoot normal, this is not big a deal. It's an acceptable range. So next, sharpness. No need to say, this is G Master. G Master is master series of Sony E-mount. So this can capture a lot of information, a lot of details. Even distant objects are very clear. And also, I really love this texture. It's not just sharp, it's also high resolution. The image is truly depicted, not exaggerated. Even this heavy, cloudy, kinda rainy vibes. And when it comes to Sony G Master lens, I always say photography is so much fun because it shows its true ability in photography. I really love this prime lens great image quality. The ability of sharpness is very high, but not too much good amount of sharpness. Since you have so many informations in an image, you have a lot of options in a post-production. You can kill it or you can make it alive. It's all in your hand. And next, image color and contrast. The thing you'll notice soon once you use this lens is a huge amount of color information and wide dynamic range. So each color is not just one. Red has many reds and pink has many pinks and goes on. You can realize it again by seeing things through this lens. The color comes out not too strong, it's very creamy and juicy but also very punchy. G Master is very good at expressing colors. The more you have color information, the more you have ways of expressions. Because color is very clear and definite, it's very easy to manipulate saturation, hue, luminance in a post-production. You can redraw the color. And about the contrast, shadow and the highlights will be friends when this lens talks. Without using masking in Lightroom, manipulating shadow and highlights is very easy. They can meet up at the point where they both agree. So if you want to shoot under the backlight condition or a very bright or dark place, this lens will save your ass. Actually, saved my ass. Okay, next portrait. Skin tone is very, very natural. I have white and bright and yellow skin tone and it was truly depicted. No weird magenta or green and blue. Humans, orange, healthy skin tone. And I was amazed by how sharp and clean it is. Also, lighting on the skin is very good. And doing portrait with this 24mm wide angle lens will let the model skinny and tall by using this curving effect. Huh. Getting skinny, not happy for me. I gotta eat, man. So last thing I'm gonna talk about is low light ability. So there was only one footage in the intro. This is it. This situation is extremely low exposure. The room was completely dark with only one small light. But I think it's doing all right. We can see some noises, but at least the atmosphere of this scene was well received. So if it's just standard f2.8 zoom lens, this scene, it's not gonna happen. So conclusion is, considering all aspects of this lens, 
I can say this is worth buying. The huge thing why I concluded like this is because of focal length options and color information. So this can go from very wide to very close. And this can fight under so many conditions like vlogging and b-roll, films and landscapes, portrait with amazing image quality. But when it comes to wide angle lens of Sony G Master, there is 16 to 35 f2.8 GM. I am kind of interested in that. 16mm is ultra wide and 35mm is standard focal length. Of course, it can do 24mm, but it's 2.8. F2.8. This is 1.4. Huh, huge difference. Which one is better? I don't know. I don't know. You guys want to see this? If you want to see this, leave the comment below. If there are some, I will think about it. Okay, this is it. If you have any questions about this lens, don't hesitate to leave the comment below. And if you have any requests for next gears, also leave the comment below. So today's topic is very much it. And thank you for watching this video. If you like this gear, show me your thumb and the shit to subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. So today's topic, ha. Ah, the more I do, the more I suck about this. So I think I'm going to end this. Maybe I get a good one, but just in case, I'll do one more.